Hello, welcome back. In our last lecture, we have seen so how to abstract the Java program so that so that somebody with a very basic knowledge of identifying web elements can automate. So what we have done there, we have using kayak.com by giving the proper steps, by giving the proper parameters, we are able to drive kayak.com without a single line of code change in the keyword driven framework whatever we have written before so if you look at the look at your keyword driven framework so this is the excel sheet and from this excel sheet we are giving the steps and we are getting the data from um, from one of this parameter so here is a problem the problem is that like in orbis.com i am just giving san francisco dfw and this data how do i change this data Right. So to do that, what we can do, we can have orbis.com. So whatever the steps, you know, 11 steps, whatever we have created, and I'm going to copy those 11 steps and then, then put those steps again, and then you just change here the data. Okay. But this is probably not probably the most elegant way of doing this thing. All right. So how about like, you know, if I'm going to do thousand steps, then this Excel is going to be too big enough to maintain. So how to solve this problem? That means we are going to read data from a data file we want to read the steps from the step file then for each data we are going to run the steps so here is a thing that we have this is our data file and this data file name is search criteria dot xls and this is the data that I have if I have more data I can put more data and then the, not a problem and then here is the steps file okay and the steps file just only contain the steps to do like you now this is the orbit steps this is the travelocity step and then this is the kayak step all right so so what i'm going to do i'm going to modify this program okay so that i can read the data first and for each data i'm going to run the steps okay and that is what i have done here so this is the web driver demo 7 and this program so what I have done, I have I have read the steps uh, Excel sheet and then put into a into, into two dimensional array called steps. Then I am going to read from the data from the from this file pro, and populate this data two dimensional array. All right. Then I am iterating the data. So first time I am going to get the first row. The first row is this one, SFO, CDG, and all this thing. All right. So for that data. I'm going to iterate through the steps okay so everything else remains same except that I am not going to use anymore these four data okay so what used to be step I7 okay whenever we are doing send keys I was sending this data from the keyword.xls so instead of of that file I'm going to send the data from this file Okay, so how to do that? So what I've done here, I have modified the send keys case statement. If I'm seeing that steps I3, so steps I3 is going to point to this element. Okay, so if I have a from city, okay, then I'm going to get, I'm going to populate that one using the parameter from the data variable okay so what I have done here so you know send keys can work in multiple steps like you know send keys is is going to run so send keys is going to going to be for from city to city leave that return that so whenever I'm sending the whenever I'm calling the send keys okay I would like to give the right parameter okay what this if statement is just exactly does that so if the steps I3 contents from so that means the parameter that I'm going to send is the from city and how to find the from city parameter the from city parameter is going to found out from the data variable and how why data variable because data variable we, re we read data from the source criteria dot xls that means once we are finishing this step the data variable is going to have all those things okay and data 1 0 okay or data i 0 or, or, or this cell is going to be the departure city and that is the reason why I have done here data k 0 okay so that's the parameter k 0 
and if that is a thing then I am sending this parameter so that means whenever I am going to do a from city automation so whenever I am going to going to going to run this this enter from city right that time I am going to call this send key method using the parameter that is k0 that means that was SFO similarly all these things whatever you are seeing can be done and then we are sending the right parameter to send keys method and once that is done we are going to finish that thing and then we're going to run so this is what is called a hybrid framework 